basically when we bought it, it was just uh, two shops that were totally derelict. So we had to start by getting all the pigeons out first and uh, mending the roof. And then from there we just moved down from there and uh, took all the plaster off and uncovered like uh, quite a lot of history of Middlesbrough really. The bricks that are just on this bar here were actually uh, taken from um, Union Street, but they're not Union Street now. Two buildings really um, that were sort of put into one and put together uh, and then made to flow naturally around. Um, okay, it's, it's different from any other I suppose because it's being created um, along with the building naturally really so people feel really relaxed in here because everything flows from one thing to the next. The, the, the staff are there because they're happy chatty people who really want to uh, know things about people and talk to people who are interested in people. Uh, the coffee that we sell is probably the nicest coffee that you can buy and that's been sourced because of that. Everything that we've done has been the best that you can possibly get from anywhere and that's with everything we've done. If, we, if, if we're mending a bit of furniture or doing a bit on the roof, the, the standard is as best as what you can do really. Just working on the festivals all my life and seeing different, different walks of life really and, and, and one in a place that was socially interactive. I was just having a drunken night one night and one of the titles suggested why did you call it Ming? He forgot about it weeks later and I brought it up and, and he was surprised I remembered it. But it's such a nice name, it's a short name, it's got ink in it, it's quite a theatrical name. Um, it's got loads of different notions in it. I mean Ming has got ink in it and Ming course it's I just thought it was a really nice, nice theatrical sort of word that uh, describes basically what we were going to achieve. Well, there's a lot of local artists that display artwork here and uh, upcoming artists and we're going to have more of that really. And, and just basically people who can have, have uh, an open window to the people at Teesside where they can display it and sell it really, you know, rather than things that might be bought from wholesalers or abroad or... Um, not really, I mean all the tattooists are all... Um, Diplomas in fine art and things like that before they even learn to tattoo. We don't take anyone off the street. We've all been through, um, through, through, through the correct training. Um, different people have helped us with different things, tradesmen, different things, but generally just, just uh, a few people just out of their heads really designing something that's, that's you know, trying to be a little bit different and a bit quirky. Oh, it'll be definitely somewhere where people can come and be artistic, and somewhere where they can come and dress up for an evening, somewhere where uh, they'll come and watch some live jazz, uh, somewhere where they'll still have a, a burlesque evening perhaps, uh, somewhere where they'll feel a bit special, definitely very sophisticated, uh, somewhere where you can come and buy, buy drinks that are a little bit quirky rather than the usual brands, and things that are a little bit different. Um, so eventually I want to be almost a members only on an evening when we're doing parties and things like that. Um, so we'll have like a night for a hundred people. So generally people won't walk by and, uh, and be able to just walk in. So it'll be people who are involved really in burlesque for instance that might dress up for the evening and feel special. But for all ages really. Yeah, I mean at the, the, the back of the bar and all the steel there, you know, it, it was derived from um, a, a, a lot of thought of how we were going to do it and what we were going to display things on and uh, it, it was quite torture really working it all out and then bringing it together and, and it's, it's, it's all the metal works pretty really important to me, yeah, cause, cause it was, it, it was, I had to do it. It knew that if you created a place with flow and if you create a place that has nice music and it was a bit off the class, a bit, a bit more sophisticated, um, uh, that, you know, people who are working in offices, people who are well to do, they might have their own businesses or whatever, don't want to go to a back street tattoo shop. They want to be in a place of art, a place where um, a place where they feel comfortable, where they can have a nice sophisticated drink, drink a nice coffee, feel really chilled out from 6 to 8 o'clock. Uh, people who don't want screaming kids around them when, when they want to come for a, a quiet, relaxing time. A bit of sex in the city between 6 and 8.